Welcome back to Jupiter Hell. Let us continue the adventures of Mr. Guy. So last time we decided to go through the Europa ruins. We've been... We decided to just go all out on 762. All in on 762 because we just don't have... We know we're going to need a lot of that ammo. And we just do not have the space for anything else so we've got a nice 762 assault rifle here that does work with onslaught and is now auto calibrated good to know what that does so increase optimal range increase damage and we've got crt ch chain gun in the wings um i guess waiting on the right opportunity or possibly until we get a shinier <laughs> shinier chain gun we did not have unfortunately we have auto loader on this assault rifle which is the main thing that is great with onslaught the chain gun is uh only has speed loader on it which we we gave it um Wait, I'm confused. I thought that we applied a swift mod to this armor. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I will, I definitely want to do that. Not sure how that happened. So, do we have any station here? We have the ability to rip mods off of things. Oh yes, and we have this shotgun utility. It would be nice to have something else. I forgot that we had that. That was why the shotgun was working so well for us. But I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, that 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 does that is unfortunate. I I really want to be able to dodge things. Um, so I do not like that. I will seek to fix this. I thought that we had applied a mod to this armor to give it swift, but I don't know what happened. Um, I must have just... This place is old. Yeah, so we haven't Very gone old. to the Frozen Temple yet, um, which is the main reason I wanted to go here, see what it's all about. We can always leave if we want to. Um, yeah, we really... to forgot what I was saying I was distracted by the combat but we yeah I, I want swift that dodge is not enough for me I want all the dodge I can get probably just going to be some minor enemies out here actually no with how it's squaring out it looks like it's just gonna be kind of a long meandering path he just <laughs> came right at us So you're really eating through that ammo. Less so than if we were using a chain gun. I guess the reason that the chain gun is so great with this is uh, because of spin up. But I think we're doing just fine 
with the current volume of enemies with the assault rifle. Although, yeah, I really do wish that our dodge was better, because I want to be not taking shots at all instead of absorbing them with our armor. I must have, like, picked up the wrong armor piece at some point. Ah, how do we get in there? Purple means we cannot get in there. Perhaps a terminal somewhere? Be careful. They could come out of a branch. Nope, not here. Always be mindful of the effects of noise, and the game, I don't think, tells you how loud different things are. It does have a number. Excellent. So we have been taking army surplus for the ammo. Now it says every fourth chest has an additional non-ammo drop. I That's a little suspect. Army surplus, whiz kid. This seems like it could be very useful for putting together an end game build, but let's focus more right now on what goes well with onslaught. Uh, whiz kid, I can see us using that more. So. I don't think this is a great one. I did take it. It's nice as we get lower on health. It gives us a little bit more stopping power as we are closer to dying, but we have been pretty good in the health department. So I think we'll just keep taking sustained fire. I think that goes very well with our kit. And look at that. I guess we've just about completed this. Huh. I... Maybe we'll find our answer here. As to how we will unlock the vault probably going to be some item that we won't want to ultimately end up using. Oh, there, there we go. Curiosity, huh? That, to me, feels like it's going to be some sort of trap. Well, there was zero chests. Usually, when we have these arenas, it's yeah, it ends up being this arena where a bunch of enemies spawn in suddenly. The door slamming shut behind us. Very cool. I mean, we've seen this uh, tile sprite before, but... Or texture, I guess. It's a texture because it's applied to a 3D object. Although technically sprites are textures too. <laughs> ah, ancient salve. Wonder if it still works. Ah, uh, shotgun amp. I mean, I'll take it. It's uh, not something we're really going to use. I love all the frozen heart. It gives what you the, the creeps. Hell? I don't want to use these blind. I'm just going to look up what they actually do. This this bothers me. Ancient Salve is basically a stim pack. So it's, it's a great healing item. And 
frozen heart. I don't know what that is. Hundred percent cold resist while held. Well, gee. Um What does held mean? Just in our inventory? Because that's very cool if that's the case. Uh okay, sure. And oh no. Be gone. I'm going, I'm going. But, but this armor. The guardians are going to spawn if we take more. This is just fireproof and mashed. Eh, it's okay. Not. I don't really want to screw with uh, whoever those gardens are. Guardians are going to spawn. I don't don't think that's gonna go super well for us, but I don't know. Alright, let's be on our way. At least we got some XP out of it. Man, this game just goes on and on, so... So much content in it, and you so much that you might not even see every run. I just skim over um, guides and stuff. They just like, they say things like, that refer to th basically like items that we pick up early on the game will come, will have an effect later on potentially. It's just like, wow, how long is a run of this? I mean, it's not unprecedented that roguelikes like this runs are really long um it's just a little surprising at a game that was originally branded as a coffee break roguelike i guess many roguelikes are coffee break roguelikes you can put them pick them up and put them down but you know at this point like what is the difference between jupiter hell and, and crawl in terms of how you would play it you would basically play it the same like the this run We've barely, I feel like we've barely even, and I, maybe I'm playing it very slowly too. Um, let's take a look at, so if we want to get some ammo, this is the way to do it. I think we're okay on ammo. We, we did, you know, invest quite a few of our skills in being able to get more ammo, so... I'm just trying to think about how to best. Oh, what do you know? How to best explore. We're not going to be able to pick up that last one. That's how it goes. Let's leave it there, maybe. Because that's not something we need in a pinch. Oh, here's what we can do. Um, why don't we just repair our armor? As much as I don't like this armor. Oh, it... Uh, 
not a big fan of how that just happened. Well, nonetheless, there we go. And we have quite a few medkits at this point. Yeah, that's what I figured. Figured they heard us. door opening. Was that... Was that me stepping in front of the elevator? Well, we can use those medkits if we need to. How many medkits do I really need? Ah, uh, the game is so much nicer with him not talking. Eventually, we're going to turn the music off, too, probably. Um, it's a little busy. Just a little bit. That's not... That's not a sound you want to hear. I hear doors opening and closing. I get nervous. Sound is very important in this game. Oh, okay. There's something big. Making moves. Maybe in <laughs> inside this locked room. I want to try to explore in a way where we can't get ganged up on all sides. And when, yep, when we shoot, we need to consider people could start attacking from behind us. So, that's why I intentionally turned around. And some doors enemies will open. Let's explore the outside a little more. We have adrenaline, so when it inevitably pains us, Or not. No takers? I guess not. Surprised these guys didn't attack earlier. Hey, chain guns. Um, ooh, and we've we're on that third stack. Frozen Heart is like a really good stim pack, I guess. These are just normal chain guns, not CRT chain guns. So, no thanks. But that ammo! Oh, 
Do we want another stack of 762? Is three stacks going to be enough? Let's say that it is for now. Because, you know, you gotta cut it off somewhere. And eventually we'll be using the chain gun, which probably eats through that ammo a bit faster. Just kind of chill out. Because I didn't chill out long enough. We also have an, like multiple health orbs on the ground. Like there's one here. There's one up above, so we're good. Ugh, 762 ammo. Oh yeah, we've been here. In case we need more ammo. And what's this? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, let's go take a look at the security. Looks like we've explored everything but that. I'm not liking the uh, stompy noises I'm hearing. Did they come stomping on out? Yes, they did. Hello. Hello. You guys order a package? Sure, you can spin up if you want to. They gonna come out? No? Yes. Maybe Roam roaming. Oh, interesting that we actually shoot. Um, I'm guessing it's just another sentry in here. Hello. All right. Area clear. Another manufacturing station, so same logic applies. We don't... We could keep rolling the dice on a chain gun. And hope that it has the perk that we want. Um, but like, is it really going to have Cartel Recon Tech as a perk? Like, we already have that. That's really great. So, I just can't see us using this. What I could possibly see is this combat armor. Not a big fan of it. It's very powerful and it reduces the dodge penalties, but doesn't reduce them as much as I would want. But we'll probably... we get armor very frequently in this game. And we've got mod slots on our helmet. I... Yeah, I, we'll probably pick up something better, so... Ugh, that's right. We can extract those multi-tools. Maybe I'll just give up on the stim pack. Because multi-tools are just so versatile. Versatile. Um, so we've got central dig here. What's... Is this just where we started? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, sure. I guess we'll just have to leave that med, it, med kit. Freezing. Guess we're near the exit. Ah, this is where we died last run. I've definitely been to Europa Central Dig. So definitely going to 
play that boss a little bit more intelligently, such as running away. And I might even... Might even break out the chain gun, who knows. Most important is eliminating the other threats first. Oh, smoke grenades. So many grenades. Uh, the implication being that we should probably use them. You know what I also realized is kind of annoying, but like... We could just drop our multi-tools and just get these grenades. No, not use! You fool! So we're gonna hold on to those and we're gonna come back for our multi-tools, or we're not going to and we're going to cry ourselves to sleep. I love that we keep shooting even if we only have vision on him between the move. That... Oh, let's uh, hold back. Yeah. This is... Not sure what's going on there. Not really... Not really how I would play it. These watchers... They just bother me. There's our guy! Um... Little gas grenade. Little dot. Uh-oh. Look where you're going. Pain. Lots of it. Does he just heal? Say what he does do. Use up our ammo. He's pretty smart about his uh, tactics. He's not going to let us get him. Looks like that white is, like, some kind of shield? Uh-oh. Gotta respect that. Oh, I moved the wrong way. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Hey, we didn't get a chance there to move. That's gonna kill us if we don't do something about it. you he 
keep doing that sustained fire. So we've taken this poison one. This gives cold immunity, which we already have because we carry um, Frozen Heart. And this would make us susceptible to fire, so I don't quite like that that much. not forget we have these lovely multi-tools here. Ammo aplenty. Not aplenty. I thought that we had some health orbs somewhere that I left for later, but guess not. Well, hey, at the very least, we got past the area that we died on last time. Large med kit. Don't mind if I do. Someone's lurking. So purple, that usually means, yeah, it's going to have some sort of nice gun. So we managed to stay within one stack of... Yeah, we're not, we're not picking that up. The only reason to pick this up, I guess, is if we want to take the mods off of it. Uh, but it doesn't have any, so... Because I always forget, there's a difference between mods and um, just traits that it comes with. I'm not sure what they call those. Something that's not a mod but that affects a weapon. I usually I call things like that by the generic term of it's an affix. What could this be? Are we done here? I got my multi tools. I think we're done here. Finally got through Europa, first time getting through Europa. And it's all thanks to finally swallowing my pride and reading a little bit, just a little bit, about the game. Is, Some is pointers. Io. Really you always suspected that it wasn't really abandoned. You didn't imagine you'll visit it though, and definitely not this way. Just popping into Io for a visit. Just walking around in an active, volcanically active moon. It's all right. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna just uh, whatever's going on in there. Just gonna let that happen. We've pumped more mods into the 762 so far, which is why I'm still using it. It's just serving us so well. We'll let them. Sort out their differences. It's that thing that is in multiple Doom games where it's like, oh, they'll actually fight each other. Certain factions of enemies will fight each other. And then basically that mechanic I found, like, rarely ever does it get used. Because they're just like, well, you don't want them to just fight each other. You want to shoot them. It's an action game. And it seems like that's the case here, but it's more of an effect than anything else. Huh. Full heal, reset all skills. Oh, that is great. That is great. Can... Is it one of those, uh... Like the stim packs you can develop like a... A debuff from using stims too much? I, I don't know. So it's there. What do we want to do? Maybe we'll leave multi-tools here and 
I don't like the amount of juggling that goes on. What are all these lightning bolts? Takers? Energy cells, so it's plasma weapons. Katana, very cool. We have no need for plasma. Oh, you poor toxic fiends. thought you could harm me. Okay, more ammo manufacturing. I should have... Oh no, it's, it only has charge. Doesn't have any built-in. Doesn't have an extract option. Ooh, this. Now we will spend time here. I think I'm not going to auto-calibrate the chain gun because um, it's going to not have as much of an effect, I think. Just gotta see. Who's on the lookout for us? Who's on the hunt? All right. They were all hiding there, wow. Oh, and that's it. That's the floor. Remember, we have two multi-tools, so... I will drop this. Pick those up, and let's figure out what we're going to do with our gear. We're not going to auto-calibrate. We've already done that. Gonna repair our armor. Is it worth it? I mean, we have so many multi-tools. Why not? So let's first see if we can get a... I, I... I have to be honest, I'm pulling up a table to refresh my memory of, like, what mods we can possibly get. So for body armor, if we want swift, we want to get accuracy. And, ugh, as always, we play the annoying inventory swapping game. So combat armor, swift. That is what we want. Now let's let's see what we want on chain gun. So the chain guns are actually uh, similar. Like as far as mods are concerned, the the assault rifles and the chain guns are like the same. Although it is a different weapon group, but you can put the same stuff on them. So we did put speed loader. We've got two slots. We could get long shot on there. We already have speed loader. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to get anything much better. Um, I suppose efficient. I'm not sure what that does. Reload ammo efficiency doubled. I suppose that could be useful. So we're not going through it as fast. Um, let's see if it'll let us do that. I don't like how we have to commit to things. No, create mod pack. So, uh, that will be a bulk pack. Bulk pack. And... 
Okay, it's just not gonna let us do that? I don't understand. Why not? So it can, so it is, I guess a gun can only have one bulk mod on it already. I think it's also based on WizKid or something, like what mods we actually have available. So, I guess we've kind of hit a... That's unfortunate. That was kind of a waste. Let's keep wasting. Uh, let's try... Power. Long shot, we've been using our auto rifle for long distance. Maybe Ripper's better. Because it's a lot more shots with a lot lower... Um... Damage, so you'd think Ripper is going to proc a lot more frequently. And what do we want to do with this? Fire resistant, bot scanner, or durable? I like fire resistant. Pick these up and anything else for us. Not particularly. We just don't have the space for grenades. Onward. Lockdown in progress. Security will arrive soon. Oh. I don't know what that means. We have not gotten this before. Yikes. Where is security going to arrive? Hey, we can't let them kill each other. We have to be getting the kills. Are those explosive barrels? Yes. Yes, they are. They are. Okay, we've got more 762 on the floor if needed. Adrenaline is ready to go. Explosions are happening. Well, look at that, little small room. Oh. I imagine that was heard. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have backed into there. Do not back into unsecured areas. I just didn't want them to get all the kills. does the medkit heal us? 40. No, we can we can get health or health orbs. Ow. I kind of want to try out the chain gun because we haven't. I hear loud, loud stomping. Oh, lockdown's going to be up soon too, so hey, you know, maybe let's use some of those med kits. <laughs> oh, 
already back at a full stack. Are they going to come through the elevator? Yes, they are. gonna get out of there um chain gun i think we'll be okay without that oh i should have we'll lure them hopefully get them all yeah I, I messed up with my my med kits there I need to consolidate them well hey at least I remembered to use my med kits rather than just die with a, a ton of healing items in inventory so I'm glad about that although I guess we have not yeah, these guys did not give us anything. Maybe some XP. But good to know, they come from the elevator. Any healing items? Shadow halls. Elation system. Red access for mines and... Gas it's, it's nice that I finally got the hang of... Hang of things. It's telling us about where the different exits will be. I guess you have to you have to pick your branches. It's because you basically get one branch per moon. It seems like. Oh, hello. Lovely. Yeah, that chain gun, the spin-up is nice. Um, I didn't use it very well. There's a learning curve. I like the assault rifle. What can I say? Well, I did say. There's a branch. Shadow Halls. Sounds pretty cool. Reminds me of... Oh gosh, what is that game where it's like... You wield a sword and a gun. And like the last... Ver the first two were like these great like... FPS games. Shadow Warrior? I believe that's what it was called. Like, the last one was kind of a looter shooter. Waiting on the wings. Wish they would give us more and man we are just not dodging today that that's what we get for the armor that we have um I and mean, we have the swift bonus now but it's, we're still at a minus 10 percent 
interesting. Gas mask. I don't think we need the gas mask because we have poison resist. That's just my... My thought, but yeah. So this armor that we've totally kitted out versus one that is... Meh. Uh, I don't... I won't take it. Would like a healing item. Thank you. Enviro pack could be useful if oh, we get surprised by some lava later on. Wouldn't be wouldn't put it past them. Um But do we take the combat pack? Health regen and bleed and pain immunity, that's quite useful. I think I'll get rid of a 762 stack for that. Now we decide which branch we want to take, so let's take a look at our messages. Or if we want to take any branch. So there's a workshop in Shadow Halls 1. Do we really need a workshop right now? We've mostly modded as much as we really want to. I suppose we could repair our armor. But we've got multi-tools for that. Um, this just tells us how to get through the that stuff. Mephitic Mines is going to require red key card. This is just telling us, hey, there's a gas mask. And I'm thinking we don't need it because gas just causes poison and we don't have, like... Oh, the Shadow Halls just sounds really cool. Um... Yeah. I'm just, I always want to do the branches because I just want to see, like, what's there. I want to know for next time, like to have a first, first hand experience with it. Wish we got some more healing items on this floor, but we'll see how healed we are. Yeah, not so much. Not... I think that makes me a little more comfortable. Shadow Hall is pretty dark. I suppose we should expect that from something called Shadow Halls. It's got that lovely ancient aliens vibe. Hey, multi-tool. Let's repair our armor. Still... Still could be more repaired. And we've got mod packs. Lovely. Let's take a look at that. A bulk mod pack, durable or bot scanner. Yeah, don't really like that. Power mod pack, exit scanner, danger monitor. Oh, I do like danger monitor. Carrier would be very convenient. I think I'm gonna go with the danger monitor. Uh, durable or bot scanner. Durable doesn't seem so great to me because we can just repair it. But it doubles it. Is that... Doesn't that act like a repair? No. It... it now we know. <laughs> well. Let us proceed with caution. Try to take one of the doors that is away from the other doors. Oh, this reminds me. Reminds me of Doom. Oh, Hyper Blaster. Maybe that's what we should be getting instead of... Uh... I didn't know that existed. Maybe we'll switch our chain gun out to that. Shame we spent all those resources on the chain gun, but you never know. 
Yeah, that's very appealing. What's over there? Did we get him? I suppose we can just go open the door. No, we did not. All right. So, now what do we want? We're not using cover, we are not using Gunslinger. I'm okay with not seeing enemies. Healing is already getting nerfed by our relic. Do we want Wizkid? I kind of do. Because it'll let us get more powerful mods on our stuff. We could go for one of these. What does the community think? To get running. So that requires Furious. Tough as Nails would be good too. Not exactly the best order to have done things in. Let's check out this. What, pray tell, is a Hyper Blaster? Oh. So Hyper Blaster is plasma based. As opposed to 7.62. We've got a CRT chain gun here. Oh, it's a CRT Hyper Blaster as well. So 348 versus 347. Everything else about it seems to be... Yeah. The big downside is that it's energy-based. have to start making space for energy cells. It is a bit stronger. I think we're going to have to go for it. And we immediately run into this problem. Um, are there energy-based auto rifles? Yeah, plasma rifle. This Hyper Blaster doesn't have auto loader. And this has speed loader. We can put speed loader on. On it. I already used up the mod pack foolishly. I think we want to make the transition to plasma, maybe. It seems like it's... is it strictly better? So let's compare the auto rifle. Oh. Uh. 
we have base damage would be, I don't know, this is 15 by 3. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's make a graceful transition. So let's drop the shotgun. Pick up a plasma rifle. So we can stick with this for now. And we'll wait until we get a good situation where we can like mod the rifle. So that'll be our backup. Our plan will be to switch to plasma because I don't know. I could be entirely wrong. Like that. I just don't know how it's going to play out. Tough to say. Yikes. Better not stand still there. What if we... I just don't know. Are we... Oh, there's some more. Are we going to start only having plasma weapons available? I mean, we do know that they are stronger, so... But are they stronger considering the fact that we have speed loader or we have auto loader on this no not yet uh too bad we won't have whiz no i, I didn't take whiz kid so we're not going to be able to yeah really should have realized that we need to take furious and running earlier and i shouldn't maybe have put the points into army surplus Well, we'll just play it by ear. Not clear yet. Gross. Oh, that's just like the, uh... Isn't that like a really ancient, like, um, security management system? <laughs> there are plasma launchers. Plasma. You just carry a bunch of plasma and you're set. Hello. <laughs> that's a lot of, that's a lot of people. gonna get pained I guess so I must have something that gives pain resist oops getting a little low there I guess we can look at the names of things. Oh, it doesn't tell us what type of chest that is. I thought there would be more. Plus two to armor and immunity from acid. Movement reduced by 20%. Yikes. No thanks. Is that fire going to go away? Health station. Oh, 
Sounds like kind of the the footsteps sounds kind of like the like Minecraft like when you're mining something <laughs> like hitting some dirt with your hand And there is Shadow Halls too. Scout armor. That sounds like it could be good. Well, I imagine we won't be wanting for energy cells. Um... I guess I'm using kind of an underpowered gun. It's the other issue. Going to be able to carry those. So two multi-tools. coming to investigate. Oh, that guy really went far. Such large maps. He can uh, show his himself to us. He's using 762. It's not as strong as the plasma variants. Well, because I took army surplus, I guess ammo isn't something I need to worry about as much. But what I need to worry about is the fact that our plasma weapons are not modded up the way they need to be for our build to work. I need auto loader. So we're going to be on the lookout. I mean, the best that I'm going to probably be able to put via a mod is going to be speed speed loader, which is not automatic reloading. It means I have to manually reload and probably I don't know if it interrupts Should have used that adrenaline earlier. Yes. Ugh, the toxic ravagers immune to poison. Really eaten through that those med kits, and part of that is because we do not heal as effectively. I guess we're on fire now.
Can you actually break these? Indeed. Thought there would be something for us to get there. They call this the Room of Disappointment. It's completely empty. These, uh, these demons are not known for their interior design sensibilities. Plasma shotgun. They just put plasma in anything nowadays. Monster closets. Well, I guess monster closets would be where there's a room with just packed with enemies. I called it a monster closet because I'm like, oh, this is where they spawn new enemies. But no, this game doesn't do that. There's just empty rooms. Give it the feeling of, uh, serving some sort of... And now we have Onslaught. All penalties removed. We are at the peak of our power. Come on out. Go for it. This is what I was interested in. So look at that. When we move, we have dodge 40. With this, when we move, we have dodge 35. So that's kind of useful. And what else does it have? Virtually indestructible. Partial burn protection. Reduced dodge penalties. This is great. I think this will serve us quite well. It actually is kind of similar, except now we don't have to deal with durability. Cool. I'll take it. Suppose if we had a proper station we could pull some of the mods off of that one and stick them onto our our new guns but still have never ended up using that phase kit I never think of just getting out and repositioning I just I think I just want to shoot my way out of every situation Yeah, come on, you're killing me with all these empty rooms, game. No, we do not need ammo. Come on, pack. I could I could see us using that. No, I don't need that many stacks. So let's try a bulk mod pack on the Hyper Blaster, because I think that's going to be a better speed loader is probably the best we're going to do as far as Hyper Blaster goes. Oh, I should check the message. Oh no, it's not a not one of those. Onward. Shadow Halls, level three. Feel surrounded by demonic energy. I feel cared for by the demons. Exalted curse. So that probably means a lot of exalted enemies, right? A 
menacing sounds. These hallways are so dangerous. Would love a different utility. Just haven't really found any. I wonder if we're able to manufacture them. Oh, you know what I also just realized? We left like two multi-tools on the floor. And we did not need to do that because I have plenty of 762 ammo. Oh well, my bad. As I said, would cry if I left stuff. They explode. They drop nice little healing items too. Yeah, see, you gotta remember. I'm like, oh, I can pick that up and take the mods off. No, it does not have any mods. It just came built in with Zombie Bane and Barbed. Oh. Uh, I'll let you guys just kind of go back to whatever you were up to, I guess. Am I able to actually shoot that? Quite the closet of monsters. Dark Cathedral, exciting. I imagine we will be paying that a visit. And then onto level six of Io. What? Let's, uh, Start picking up some energy cell. I mean, we're not using it currently. Someone's been going through doors. down to the last batch of enemies. They make small batch monster closets. They were ready for us. Doesn't really matter, does it? What's that referring to? So running is a new active skill. hurting us. 
check, check how running works. Increased evasion. And we move faster. 20 Fury to activate. And it has a cooldown. And gradually gets cheaper and the cooldown goes away. Not really seeing anything here we want. And it's clear, so... Explore to our heart's content. Reduce dodge penalties. It doesn't have any dodge penalties. I don't know. I suppose we can just put stabilized on it. Maybe not the best choice, but... Yeah, let's not hang on to the energy cells until we're ready to start using those weapons. I guess it has speed loader. We could try using it. 13 by 3, so... 39... 12 by 4, so 48. 3, 4, 9 versus 2, 4, 8. And the thing with reloading the Hyper Blaster is uh, it actually takes multiple turns, I was finding, to reload it. So... Uh, speed Loader is not that great. What you really want is, an ar is some armor. I think we'll just have to keep our eyes out open and hope that we can loot the stuff we need because we don't have a whiz kid level high enough for us to be able to get that effects that we want. What is that doing all the way over there? See that white square over there? I guess we haven't explored here. scout armor um it has loading feed that pretty much overrides anything else yep so I think I'm gonna switch to the hyper blaster Um, we'll hold on to this, but we will not, we will start hoarding, um, energy cells. So I'll, I'll get two stacks of energy cells. If I can. So that's great. That's exactly what we were waiting for. And I know we had some mods on that thing, but can't just carry armor around with us indefinitely. Um, a little unfortunate that I didn't have more energy ready to go. Really thought that there would be more energy uh, cells just lying around. Really is, is not unfortunate. Well, thanks to the abilities that we took um, will be a little bit easier, but, uh, all right. I guess I'm going to have to hold on to this assault rifle a little bit longer. Um, just, yeah, and I'll, I'll re, re grab that stack of 762. So hold on to that just a little bit longer because we don't yet have all the energy cells we need. And we'll go and explore the Shadow Temple. Dark Cathedral. You know, I think it's time for a break. We've played this game long enough. Take a little break, come back for some more Jupiter Hell. Next time, we will explore the Dark Cathedral.